in the tropical scene. We reviewed this earlier, but to give you a little more focus on what's happening in the western Atlantic, this is the coast of North Carolina. Omar is a diminishing tropical cyclone. It's a depression. The central circulation is there, but the upper winds are really blowing a lot of the cloudiness and storm action on the eastern side of that circulation. That's not a healthy setup for a tropical system. So this one does not have much of a future left. It'll keep moving to the east. It will diminish into just a remnant low as we approach the end of this week. And it's really not going to do much harm to anybody and certainly have no major effect on what's happening around our area. Nana is still a tropical storm. It's moving pretty steadily to the west, heading towards the landscape of Central America and Belize as well but it's pretty close to land right now and it's likely to maybe gain a little more intensification, maybe falling just short of hurricane force before it makes landfall and moves over the upper terrain and begins to diminish itself. What else is happening in the tropics? Yes, it's supposed to be pretty busy this time of year as it usually is in early to mid September and we do have waves of moisture, but none of these are really showing any kind of potential for development. And in the Cape Verde region, still a couple zones that bear some watching, especially this one that's just come off of the African continent, still likely to move west northwest. And since it's on the opposite side of the Atlantic from where we are, there's lots of time to track anything that tries to originate that far away. Nonetheless, it's certainly advised to stay on top of the activity that occurs in the tropics and we'll certainly help you do that here 